Oh, hey. It's Rob. And we're uh, sequestering here. Um, not in a complete quarantine yet, but uh, they, the dogs are very um, happy that I'm home. And I haven't done a whole lot. I've mostly been working from home. Uh, you know, let me let me take this off. It's just gonna be easier. Yes, thank you, thank you, Piper. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yes. okay. Uh. Ow. <laughs> so yes, I've been uh, I've been primarily working from home, so I haven't really uh, had any time to do any um, other projects. So it's a little uh, skimpy this week. Um, I, we're all in you know this weird situation. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, dogs are going all over the place, uh, but. Hey, things will settle down somewhat, hopefully soon, and uh, we can get into a, somewhat more of a routine, somewhat more of an altered routine, and I can find more time to do the things that I uh, would like to do and keep y'all entertained. But uh, in the meantime, here's some other stuff. Hey, it's Rob, and uh, I'm home today. We're sequestering at home. And I've got my office set up because I'm working from home these days, as many of us are. Uh, I'm shooting from in there, but it's a uh, Saturday, so it's my day off. And what I've been doing is a little bit of cleaning. Uh, I've got uh, soup stock going on. I've got a, taken all the vegetables out of the, ref the refrigerator that are starting to uh, get on the edge. And I'm making a uh, nice vegetable stock that I'm going to store up for later because I figure soup is good food. Especially in times of you know potential illness coming up. I know that there are times if I am ill, or you know, one of you know, or my roommate is ill, that perhaps soup is one of the easiest things to, you know, throw it in a microwave and, and you're ready to go. And uh, so that's going on. Uh, probably I'm, I'm editing another video, and in the meantime, a friend brought some uh, some beer, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of beer tasting. Uh, these this is a Makeshift Dynamite New England Style IPA. This is from 11th Hour Brewing Company in Pittsburgh. And I'm going to try it and see what it's like. Um, so, enjoy! This, I think, is a sour. It's not bad. It's, a, it's definitely a sour IPA. That's an interesting combination. It's got a very fruity flavor to it, almost, uh, almost like grapefruit. And it's definitely got that IPA bite to it at the end. Not bad. I don't know that this would be a top favorite, but it's it's pretty good. I would definitely give it a shot. Okay, beer number dos. Uh, day to do. Dream Cannon. This one is a sour. Uh, recipe number nine, Fireside Punch, with cranberry and tangerine. Uh, Alright, gonna give it a shot. Oh, it's pink. You can see that. It's actually pink.
I learned to like sours when I was working in Wisconsin for a while. There was a lot of beer drinking. Prost. It doesn't even taste like a beer. That's... It's not even a beer, it's fruit punch with a little bit of beer added. Hey, okay. this is actually pretty good. If you're looking for fruit punch with beer. Then again, you could probably make your own fruit punch with beer added. It's a sour. It's tangy. Sort of fresh, crisp, clean. All right, I'm giving this one a win. I have dog fence. <laughs>